Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we are currently in a bit of a stalemate here, mostly because of this logistical region here, and we're working on that apparently. We are up to eight. Eight. Isn't that interesting? Why are we up to eight? Local infrastructure, apparently. Who's building infrastructure? We're not. The Japanese aren't. I have no idea why we're getting more infrastructure from here. Compliance level? It doesn't say anything about that tooltip. I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the compliance level. That would strike me as odd, to be sure. But we are rearranging our armies over here. We have quite a number of forces on their way in. And that's great. Now, we could think about doing some sort of a naval invasion behind this line. And that may be something that we want to think about. Like, theoretically. What if we were to use one of these forces, perhaps this one, and we'd have to rearrange this again, and I'm not sure that I want to commit to that at this exact moment. Alternatively, we could pull a force from the Central American and Caribbean Coast Guard. Now, we don't currently have any Marines. It might actually be a decent investment to get a Marine division. So, if we were to, say, duplicate the infantry division, but get rid of all of this. Probably would have been faster to duplicate the... Uh, Garrison Division. Okay. So we do something like this. Now, what would we want in a Marine Division for a support company? Well, Logistics Company would be great because we're probably going to be in a low supply environment. Field Hospitals, again, we're probably going to be in a low replenishment environment for a while. Support anti-air seems good. Support artillery seems good as well. And engineer companies all seem great. So the question then becomes, we don't have research on Marines. <laughs> we should. For some reason, I was thinking that we did, but we definitely didn't. I'm going to actually swap over. We'll get that started. Okay. So we'll get that going and we'll get some, we'll, we'll get a Marine army going and get our special forces cap of marines, and we'll start thinking about invasions behind their lines. That's going to be pretty important for us, but right now that's a little bit down the road. So that's fine, and I would like to do another industrial integration here in two more days. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. In one more day. Excellent. And we'll have it about right now. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and construct ourselves a civilian factory where we can. Where did that integration come in? Someplace that already had too much, perhaps? Perhaps. We can check our European holdings. But yeah, it may have been somewhere like one of these that were already overcapped. Ah, here it is. Fantastic. Actually, that is within our allied nation there. This one is the one that is ours. Okay, well, that'll be fine. We'll just get those done real quick. Excellent. Okay, so there's that underway. We are, of course, making our way over here, and I do want to start some naval invasions down over here. Japan is still collapsing in India, and we're not really making any headway up here. Mostly, I, I still believe it's because of our supplies here. And those supplies are going to get worse, actually. So there's that. It's certainly going to be a bit of a yikes. Well, we are interested in pushing the Japanese back over here so that we can cut in behind their lines. If we get a good push going over here, that'll be great. I think the odds on that are perhaps a little bit low. But we'll see. 
We will certainly see. And yes, our manpower looks low. It's artificially low right now. It'll be fine. So we are going to deploy these lines in two days here. We don't really care about their training level for these garrison troops. It should, in theory, be fine for them to get their training in the field. Get their experience that way. And the Soviets are definitely, or not, not the Soviets, rather, the Russians, the Soviets no longer exist, are attacking over here. And are they making any gains? Maybe. Oh, well, they don't have this supply issue. I definitely didn't expect there to be this issue because I expected supply flow to come in like this. But unfortunately, that's not what happened at all. So that's definitely a thing. Definitely, definitely a thing. Very awkward indeed. Well, let's go ahead and deploy all of these. And of course, this is going to put us at zero manpower. That is expected. So we'll select all of these guys. We're going to put them in here. Now we have two too many. So we're going to take these two and we're going to move them over to here. And how many do we need in total here? 26. So we will disband these two units. There we go. Now that put us at zero manpower. That was expected. We're going to also disband six additional units here. There we go. That should be fine. This unit of Coast Guard is now maxed out. Perfect. And these guys, they're going to need six more units, but we're going to be able to replace actually every single unit here, every single infantry division here, with our garrison division once our next round finishes training. Well, finishes 20% of their training anyway. So that'll be great. We're making good progress on our infantry weapon reinforcement, actually. So that's good. Let's check in on our movement progress over here. It's still April, so we're moving very, very slowly. That's all fully expected. We need to deal with this logistics issue, and the question is, how can we? How indeed. It's a really awkward situation, right? I wish we had control to some degree of our supply flow. And maybe that's something that they're they're planning to do in the next update. I know they're going to overhaul logistics in the next update. I wish that we could tell it flow supplies like this. Because that would be so much more efficient than what we've got going on here. And honestly, the tooltip doesn't really tell us why we're having this issue other than local infrastructure. But that's very strange. Very strange indeed. I would like to flow this supply up over here. But we don't have any control over this system as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong about that, I suppose, but I don't think I am. So I think we just got to deal with it. And eventually we will make our way through. Eventually. Eventually. We are about to get a couple of tank brigades. Well, a tank brigade, anyway. That'll be fine. We're just going to deploy that, of course, into, I believe, this unit. Yeah, this unit actually... Oh, wow, I'm dumb. Okay. This unit actually still needs four units of infantry. We're going to move these four units into here. There we go. Off they go. They'll arrive eventually. Okay, now we have all the infantry units that we're supposed to up here. For some reason I was thinking that we did, but we did not. Yeah, we're moving incredibly slowly. It's still very frozen up here. That's to be expected. Now, these units up here, they're not doing very much, really. This airbase, we could definitely upgrade. And that might not be the worst idea, actually, to upgrade this airbase immediately. Uh, cannot build airbase in a foreign territory. We don't have we have control of the airbase, but we don't have control of the state. Right. That would be a thing. 
Oh, Slovakia wants to lend lease, and Nationalist Spain wants to lend lease, too. We'll take it. That'll be fine. I mean, I'd love to do another region-wide industrial integration. We're nowhere near ready for that. We'll get these civilian factories done as quick as we can, and... I mean, this naval base is going to finish up pretty quick. We'll work on all of these. It'll happen soon-ish. Okay, so this is northeast Siberia here with maxed out infrastructure. Maxed out infrastructure here. And maxed out infrastructure here. So, I mean, we've done pretty much what we can. Unless we wanted to try to flow supplies this way, which would be really awkward, and I don't think the game would ever do that. So that's definitely something to worry about. Now, we could work on trying to get ourselves a nice little spy network in Tokyo. And let's go ahead and do that. I also think that we should probably have this guy rooting out resistance in some places that have high resistance, like here. Okay. Hello, pause menu. Fantastic. So Japan is currently crumbling a little bit, but we're mostly limited by our supply infrastructure here. Our overall ploy is going to be to do something like an offensive line here. That's the overall plan. And we'll see how that ends up going, but probably poorly is my guess. We're going to start working on, let's see, which of these do we want? Expanded Special Forces or Advanced Special Forces? We're going to go with the Expanded Special Forces. Fantastic. That is, of course, working towards getting our Marines online. Excellent. Our constructions are going okay, and we're going to be able to deploy additional garrison units soon. This is a tank unit, and that, of course, goes into this army. We're going to need a total of 16 additional tank units after this. So that'll be fine. So after th this unit finishes its training, I mean, we're going to need a total of 16. I mean, we could start working on the, on all of them simultaneously. Like that. Now that does put us flat out of manpower. <laughs> That's understood. That is definitely understood. What we're going to do to combat that is we are going to come in here. And we're going to disband some 16 units of infantry here. This button. There we go. Two units are encircled. What? Must be these two. Where are you at? Uh, how do we go to it? Let's see here. Right click. Okay. He's just chilling in France. Okay, what about the other one? He's just chilling in France, too. Well, technically chilling in French holdings in Africa. I'm okay with that. We'll lose 80% of their manpower, actually. Um, let's talk to France, and... We have military access with them. How are they encircled? There's no base here. That's how. There's no naval base. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to say so much for them. It's unfortunate, but so much for them. Okay, that gives us a good amount of manpower back, and it's pretty much instantly gone. That's fine. So, our, e our equipment is going to be pretty low right now. I, I understand that. This is all of our... I think this is all of our divisions that we're going to need, right? No, we're going to need one, two more. We need 17 total divisions. Okay, so we'll get those going. And these guys will, of course, get filtered in here. They will replace all of these units. And this will be basically our last recruitment, big recruitment push for this army group. So that'll be fine. 
We're still aligning over here. I mean, it's still May, so it's still very, very snowy. That's completely fine. And we're completing work on some of these naval bases. That's great. That is absolutely fantastic. I just want to check here. You're in the Allies faction. Okay, Allies faction, Allies faction, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that is fine. That is completely okay. So, unfortunately, we are definitely struggling with our infrastructure issue. There's no doubt about it. Our logistics here is real bad. In locations where our infrastructure isn't real bad, we're doing marginally better. I wouldn't call this better necessarily, actually. That said, we're not currently in a position to go to aggressive attack yet. We will be soon-ish. Soon-ish. Ah, these guys can all be deployed, and so they shall. Fantastic. Let's see what that does to our manpower. I am expecting us to be basically flat out of manpower from that. Hmm. We are not flat out of manpower from that. There we go. Now it went. It just took a moment. So we're going to come in here then. I want to double check this. Yeah, this one should be completely good to go. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to, of course, disband all of our infantry divisions. And in fact, you can just double click to select all of the same type. So we're going to do that. And we're going to disband these 14 units, getting us 300,000 manpower back. Perfect. And some of that manpower will go into these garrison units, of course. But cer certainly by no means will all of it go in there. Wonderful. So we're just waiting for these troops to get lined up over here. It will take them additional time. And that's completely okay. Japan is continuing to take losses. This is not surprising. What is a little bit surprising is that we're not able to punch through this when they're losing on basically every front. We can push it into aggressively execute. And let's also make sure that we are grabbing... I was going to say our next rank of Marines, but I guess that isn't going to be too helpful. There we go. Okay. So we're definitely seeing some slightly better attack patterns over here. We want to wear them down. That's what we want. More than anything else right now. But I feel like we are attacking too frequently when we're doing this. I really do. Let's move it back to balanced. I just don't feel like that's actually all that helpful. So, realistically, what happens if we just use all of these guys? They barely have any organization. Barely any organization at all. But what happens if we use them to all attack here? We're actually winning that, at least for now. I don't imagine we will win it for too much longer, though. We're going to run out of organization here. And that's going to last for another six days. Okay, yeah. Exactly as I anticipated. We just didn't have the organization. And the reason we don't have the organization is because our supply line is garbage here. And I still don't understand why our supply line isn't connected. Like, that doesn't make sense to me actually. Wait. This is supplying through here. All of our supplies are now going through Otosk. I really wish we could control this. 
that would be really, really nice if we could control where these supplies were flowing. All of our supplies are now entering through here, which is actually quite bad, although it's strange because we are getting a lot more supplies over here coming through this state, or rather through this supply region, than we are anywhere in the supply region. That's a little baffling, right? Like, that doesn't make sense. Why would that be the case? That's definitely not how I would set up this supply flow. If I had the opportunity, I would send our supplies up over through here, where we have defenses, and spread them through here. We would be able to get much more supplies in this region based on my understanding of how the supply system works if we were able to tell the supply system, hey, we want to come up this way. Like, I would love to come up this way. We have lots of supply flow here. But for whatever reason, it's decided to come in here. Exclusively here. Only resources are coming up here. Our supplies are all coming in here. That strikes me as very, very odd indeed. And I really wish that wasn't the case. I really, really wish that we could control where this supply flow came in. Yeah, we have 54 supply behind an 8 supply province. And we're limited by the infrastructure in Otosk, which is here. But we're coming in with 51 supply. Local naval base limits us to 51 supply. Previous bottleneck infrastructure over here. So, yeah, why are we not getting infrastructure... Or rather, why are we not getting this supply here? We should be getting 51 supply here, I think. Because it's flowing through here to this location. This is slightly baffling to me, actually. This is not how I understood the logistics system to work. Okay, now we're apparently swapping back and forth between whether the supplies are coming in here or coming in here. I guess that makes more sense. But now I kind of regret building naval bases here. I don't think we can destroy naval bases of our, our own location. Pretty sure you can't. This is very strange to me. Very strange indeed. Yeah, I definitely don't understand what's going on with this supply region. And that's what's causing this stall out. Completely and totally. Like, you can argue, oh, well, you're not making too much progress over here. Yeah, because we're not really trying to make too much progress over here. We have to clear up this supply region before we can really advance over here. That would be advancing into mountains and pass on that if we can help it. So yeah, I'm unclear as to why this supply region is having this issue. It's definitely a head-scratcher. Ah, a non-us infantry division. Sure. We'll just plop that on in here, and that's one less garrison unit that we need here. We actually only need seven more garrison units here. And we'll be having that pretty soon. Yeah, we're, we're very short on our equipment for our armored divisions. I'm well aware of this. Okay. So these guys will be deployable momentarily, in fact. Wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and... Okay, they're canceling their lend lease. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and do this as soon as we can, which will be now. Fantastic. We'll deploy all of these. These guys are actually not ready to be deployed, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll toss these guys. Actually, we'll toss, like, five of them. 
So we'll deselect a few of these. Uh, click to select division. Yeah, I want to deselect. There we go. It was working. I just wasn't noticing it. We'll put five divisions in here as expected. And then the rest of these will go into this unit. How many does this unit actually need? It needs 62. Okay. So no disbandment to be done there just yet. That'll be fine. So off they go. Fantastic. And it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see if we can solve the mystery of the logistics zone. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.